Hey, I'm no genius with programming, but I do know two ways to program a Raspberry Pi Pico so a PC recognizes it as a guitar controller. Coding from scratch and using the Sanjay 900 Guitar Configurator software. I just opened an Etsy shop where I sell my 3D printed guitar controllers with Whammy Bar and they come included with custom code I wrote myself, and it works great with my experience. You can just plug in the guitar right away and start mapping buttons on Clone Hero, Yarg, or whatever. So whether you bought one of my guitars and want to change how it's programmed, or if you have any other game controller running on a Raspberry Pi Pico, let's look at how to program it. On my guitars you can use an Allen wrench in order to access the Pi, and then you'll want to unplug it from the PC and then hold down the boot cell button while plugging it in. And now we have a blank Raspberry Pi that's ready to be programmed. Click the link in the description to get the latest version of Sanjay's guitar configurator. Here there's information on how to program the Pi so it can be used on an Xbox 360 or a PS2, but I've never tried this so I'll just show you how to get it to work on PC. Click here to download and then click on either Mac, Linux, or Windows depending on your operating system. Then run it and install the configurator. It should automatically detect the Pi Pico and you can click continue and then start programming and then start configurating. And then I believe this is a bug where it looks like this. So I closed the configurator and then re-plugged in the Raspberry Pi Pico while holding the boot cell button. And now it looks like this, which is the correct way. Now you can go down the list and map all the buttons by clicking each pin binding and then automatically find pin binding and then press the button on the guitar. And then for the whammy bar, you can just press it down to detect the pin binding. And then once you click right, then you'll be able to start calibrating the whammy. So click OK with the whammy bar all the way up, and then click OK with the whammy bar all the way down. And then setting the dead zone will prevent any whammy action from being picked up without even touching the whammy bar. So I just press the whammy bar down slightly and then click OK again. And then you should be good. Now if you click change device settings, what I like to do is to change the connectivity type to direct, and then change it to PS3, and keep it Guitar Hero Controller. And then make sure to click right one more time and then you should be all set. The Raspberry Pi Pico uses an implementation of Python called MicroPython. But I'm going to be coding using CircuitPython, which is a fork of MicroPython, and it makes it a lot easier to program things. We can go into the official CircuitPython website to download the latest .uf2 file. Simply drag that file onto the blank Raspberry Pi Pico, and it should boot back up like this. Next, you can download these four files from the link in the description. And then drag the Adafruit HID and the HID Gamepad files into the lib folder on the Pi. And then put the boot and code files directly on the Pi. Next, to edit the code, you're going to need Thani, which can be found in the description once again. And if you open up the code file, this is what you'll see. Real quick, I'm going to explain the important stuff in the code. If you're using the guitars from my Etsy shop, and for whatever reason you're following along because you need to reset the code, the only thing you need to change is the Whammy Min and Whammy Max. Otherwise, if you're making a controller from scratch, you will most likely also need to edit these board.gp pins and the analog board.gp pin. But before we dive in, let's take a look at the diagram. Here we can see how everything is wired up. And it's important to know which GP pin everything is going to. For the frets, I'm using Kale Low Profile Red Switches. For the Strum, I'm using Kale Box Navy Switches. And then Kale Reds, I believe, for the Start and Select buttons. And for the frets, Strum, Start and Select, they all have one pin going to ground, and then another pin going to a GP on the Pico. So in the code, we can see GP0 through 8 all correspond to a different switch here. And if yours is wired differently, then just replace the number in the code with whichever GP pin you have it wired to. 
Now for the whammy bar, first you'll need to scroll down here and uncomment this line right here. Click save and let it run. If you get an error, you might need to unplug the Raspberry Pi Pico and plug it back in, and then come down here in the bottom corner and click and make sure that it's selected to CircuitPython. So if we click run, we should just see a bunch of numbers spitting out, and that is the value that the potentiometer is reading. So if I press the whammy bar down, we can see that the number gets bigger. If your number gets smaller as you press it down, then you'll need to switch the ground and the 3v3 wires around. And also notice that the middle wire coming out of the potentiometer is wired to GP27, and then I have GP27 here in the code. Okay, keeping it running, I'm going to have the whammy bar all the way at the up position. So I want to make this whammy min value a little bit higher than what it is here, so there's a little bit of a dead zone. So I'm just going to change it to 33,500. And then if I press the whammy all the way down, I will see about 39,000. So I want to go a little bit lower than the lowest it goes. So it looks like it always it gets down to 40,000. So I'm just going to make it 39,000. And that way I will have a full range of whammy every time I press the whammy bar down. So now I'm going to recomment this. I'm going to press control S to save. And now you should be able to hit close and then unplug the Raspberry Pi Pico and plug it back in and it should be working. I know I already showed my Etsy shop, but I just wanted to mention that this is my only shop. There are a few other people who are selling my old designs without my permission, so I just wanted to make it clear that if it doesn't say Josh Designs 3D, it's not me. Thanks. Hello, I'm waiting here for you. Hello.